Test nets activated. The shadowy supercoders have shocked everyone, including myself, by deploying Zen on four different test nets already. We move fast, we iterate fast, we fail fast, we break things, and we become strong. What is a test net? Well, it's in the name. It's a test net. It uses the same code as will be deployed on mainnet, but it's used in a siloed world with fake, fake internet money. It has no correlation to mainnet. It's two completely separate worlds that do not interact with each other. So nothing you do in a testnet environment will transfer over to mainnet and vice versa. It's not something you have to do, but it is something we encourage you to do, however, because, and especially if you're a curious crypto noob, because it's a great way to learn how the wallets with your addresses interact with the protocol through the interface without even risking anything, including gas fees. So the reason for deploying test nets uh, is for the devs to get feedback on the implementation of the code and for users to try the system out. So it's a collaborative effort to make the whole system better, stronger and safer. So right now you can go in and test uh, to interact with the protocol on four different chains and it's Ethereum, Pulse, uh, Binance and Polygon. So I'm going to show you, let me show you how it looks like. Let's, let's interact with the protocol guys. What do you say? So the first thing we need to do is to add the test network to our MetaMask. So we go down to add network and in the advanced settings, we scroll down and make sure that the show test network is uh, toggled on. Then we can go down to networks and select the girly network. Uh, so everything looks good there. And then we basically just go up in this top menu here and then activate the girly network. So now we're in this test environment, but as you can see, we don't have any girly to play with. So let's get some girly ETH. So what we do is simply clicking the address here. So it will be copied and then we go into the girly faucet to get the funny money. We paste it and then we're proving that we're some kind of human. Sometimes we get the teenage mutant ninja turtles here, but now we got these shitty plants. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just click here and then you can press start minting. And here you will see how much uh, you have mined the girly ETH and you have some other metrics down here um it's good to know it will only cost about 0 0.002 girl eth per transaction so you really just need to leave this on for for a minute or so and it will be more than enough and then you can just uh, press uh, stop mining uh two times and sometimes it will take some time for them to appear in your wallet but uh yeah just do some push-ups while you wait and then we can interact with the protocol. So oh, here we have the web interface. This is where you interact with the uh, protocol. And here you can see some familiar faces. We have the global rank, and that is, as you know, how many addresses have interacted with the protocol so far. Uh, we have active minters. This is how many people have claimed their C rank and are uh, awaiting maturity uh, dates in order to be el eligible to uh, mint. We have active stakes. This is how many addresses have staked their SEN and earned that sweet APY. Uh, we have time since Genesis or Zenesis as we like to uh, call it. It's 13 days since um, the Ethereum testnet protocol uh, went live. Over here, we can see the total supply of ever minted SEN. And, and of that, we have 30 million that is liquid, that is out uh, on the markets uh, today, so to speak, in people's wallets. Uh, and uh, we also have total staked. So this is how much SEN has been staked in the protocol. So if we go down here uh, to the bottom of the page and press contract, we come to Etherscan. And as you know, everything is transparent. So here we can actually see all the transactions that have interacted with the protocol. So, so far it's been 6,041 transactions that happen in total. 
And if we, uh, so we can scroll down and, and see all of them and we can go to them individually and, and check uh, from to addresses and so forth and so forth. And then we can go in here uh, in the token and we can see uh, the max total supply. So it's uh, 30 million 700,000 SAM so far. So then we can double check that with this number and it's 13 million 600. But if we refresh the page, what happens? It's querying the global state. So now it's fetching the data uh, from the protocol to this web interface. Bam, 13 million 700 thousand. All right. So, um, so yeah, also this to, to, to note here, right? What, what happens here? Like th this is basically the most important one because uh, not, not the total supply. And why is it so? Because Remember, when you stake, what happens is that SAN protocol burns your SAN, and then when you unstake, it remints it together with your uh, APY. So if you add the total stake uh, with the liquid supply, you get the uh, total supply. Here we have the max term days to uh, maturity, uh, the T, what's possible right now. So why is, why is it still 100? It's 100 because the global rank is still uh, 4,184. So when this comes to uh, reaches above 5,000, then the max term days will increase. The AMP, the AMP started at 3,000, as you know, and it's been reducing by one every day since Genesis. So 13 days in and the AMP is down to 2. 1988 it will probably switch over to 87 any second now um, the EAA guys the EAA what's happening here well with the EAA we have uh, still 10% and why is it so because the EAA is the early amplification uh, early adopter amplification factor and it's gonna remain at 10% until the global rank reaches 100,000 addresses. So it's going to be 10% and then it's going to reduce by 0.1% uh, for all 100,000 uh, interactive addresses. And then we have the APY, which is the current APY, which you get for staking SEN right now. And why is it 20%? Uh, well, that's the starting APY and every for every 90 days, it's going to reduce to uh, with 1% down to 2% in uh, perpetuity. So since it's only been 13 days, um, it's still 20%. But when this hits 90 days, it's going to switch over to 19% and, and so on. So how cool is this, guys? I mean, wow. You know, we took the formula that we went through in, in Zen Education number one and we made a protocol with it and it seems to add up. So now I'm going to show you how to dance with this protocol. We're going to dance some tango right here. So we go up here and we uh, connect. Notice I have zero Zen right now and we connect with the protocol and we go into our MetaMask and then it asks us, we can double check here. Yes, we're on the girly side, so it's the testnet. And it wants to connect with uh, my account here where we have the, um, the girly ETH that we did in the, in the first step um, that we get from the girly faucet, right? So we say, yes, that is okay. Uh, we wanna connect. And here comes our girly up and Let's see what happens. Bam, now I am connected here to the uh, protocol. So we've started the dance, we're dancing together. And then we go here and press mint free sen. And as you remember, when we now want to mint, the first step is to claim our C rank. So here you can see the global rank is currently at 4,184. So when we now claim our C rank, the, the rank that we're going to get is, is the global rank plus one. So when I do this, this claiming phase right now, 
I am going to have the number of the current global rank. And then when you come in, in the next step, then you're going to push that global rank higher and higher. But as you also remember, in this first transaction, in our first Tango Dance, uh, we also need to mention to the protocol uh, the maturity date, the T here. And 100 is the max that is possible. But I'm actually going to choose just one because I want to come back tomorrow and also show you how to claim your mint. And I don't want to wait 100 days uh, with that. So we're going to choose one. And um, normally I would probably choose as much as possible here, you know, because you're incentivized to choose as high maturity days as possible. But it's completely up to you. But we choose one here and then we start minting. Dit, 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 dit. Now we're connecting to the protocol and we're claiming our C rank. So then we uh, see here, we got to sign this transaction as well. So here you can also see that you don't need so much girly ETH, you know, this is the cost of one transaction. Uh, so it's pretty small. So this all looks good and we confirm it. Da, da, da. And now this transaction is being sent uh, out to the, the universe, uh, to the validators, to uh, verify that this is a valid transaction. And bam, here we can see contract interaction. It confirmed, it looks good. This is how much uh, the whole transaction cost and so on and so forth. So. Uh, now we can also see here, let's see what we have. We got a C rank of uh, 4,184. Uh, we got some data here. And this is interesting. This is estimated SEN. So this is what I could expect to get next time. Uh, we uh, claim our mint, 3,286 ZEN. Let's also add SEN to the wallets uh, so we can see them uh, in our wallet. So we uh, press this button and then uh, this comes up uh, as a suggested token. So we add this token and now we can see Sam here. So tomorrow when we come back and claim our mint, we're going to see our sweet Zen there. Now I'm in the future and I've been waiting for 24 hours anxiously to get my sweet Zen and uh, here we can see up here just that we don't have any Zen yet, right? Because all we did was claim C rank. And But what has happened? Here there is a claim button that appeared. So let's press it and see what uh, happens. Then we go to our MetaMask wallet and it wants us to sign this transaction. So we uh, confirm it after we double checked everything. And now it's... Uh, in the process of claiming our Zen. This is a magical moment, guys. Shouldn't take long. Any second now. It's coming, guys. Any second now. And there we go. You see? That went like a complete success. Look at this. We have gotten our freshly mined sand and it's in our wallet how about that great success and here you can also see um, the um, the amount of sand that we have in this wallet so uh, what else can we do now when we have sand well we can stake it right so let's go and stake it um, and what we need to do when we stake as you know we need to choose uh, how many days we want to stake it so we can choose one day we can choose a thousand days, but we can't choose more than a thousand. So let's uh, let's take them for for uh, just a day. And here you can see the calculated yield and the maturity date uh, as well. And uh, here you can see some stake terms, which you should 
read and know about uh, because if you end your stake early you, you will get this back at any time if I choose 1000 days here and I can end it any time during these thousand days but if I end it before 1000 days then I will lose my APY so you're, you're committing to a contract here with the protocol and um, I'm, I'm choosing 100 days to stake them uh, no I'm choosing one day uh, yeah let's do that <laughs> all right so now we stake them and um, now we have basically completed the whole process with uh, the protocol guys so boom just like that we've claimed your C rank we claimed our mint and we staked so all we've been talking about so far in education hit number one and all that information and all those formulas has come down so it's just to connect to the protocol and we got to sign it also I forgot it of course and it's just to connect and press a button so so this is the onboarding process for potentially hundreds of millions of users but of course we're going to iterate this infinitely so so it will be less buttons so it's very easy but these are the first iterations we can see and we can see that it all works already um, but yeah this is it guys towards minimalism and what I want to show you also is uh, what we have here on the events page uh, just let it queer the global stake and the parameters and uh, yeah here we can see stake details current APY 20 percent because it's gone less than 90 days since Genesis this is our staked amount. This is how many term days we have. And uh, yes, uh, we can also end stake earlier. We talked about it. Here we also have events so we can see what, what the protocol happened with. Uh, just a recent update of the protocol. But uh, yeah, guys. Amazing. Då, då kör vi på. So here I've just summarized some data from all of the test nets uh, so far. And this is interesting to compare because we can see the activity in each uh, sub community. And the, the test nets haven't been live for very long, but we, we already can extract a lot of valuable information here. We can see day since Genesis, how many transactions, uh, have been interacting with the protocol and we can see the global rank uh, how many have claimed their their C rank we can see how much Zen has been mined in total so over 100 million Zen has been mined uh, in total here and also of that uh, we have staked 54 million Zen and this provides us very valuable information because we can see here of, of all the Zen that has been mined uh, 54 have uh, also come back to the protocol and actually staked them, right? So, so that gives us a hit rate of 41%. And, and that's a good metric to, of follow-through engagement, if you like. So this is great to see how Zen will adopt and uh, live on the different chains. You know, all data is out there. So some developer who wants a fun project can create a site and, and follow these uh, stats and share that with the community that would be amazing it's all transparent guys you can just fetch the data and uh from, from etherscan and, and everywhere else and and then deploy it and summarize it somewhere because uh, it would be very cool to see both the test net and the main uh, activity you can even make a toggle function uh, or whatever just have fun with it so yeah guys, test nets, that's it about test nets. They're live and they're well. Let's move on 